Yo, what up, babes? Um, I, I just have like one last point before I head into work that I wanted to bring up with you. All right, before Al from Boston, when was the last time you had ever heard of the DTCC? Knew that they had some sort of $67 trillion insurance policy until Al from Boston had came around. Come on, let's think about that. I mean, because if that wasn't his goal in the first place, to plant a seed that there was some bigger player that could you know, answer all your dreams, and if you just held on, they would be excited to give you millions of dollars because this was like sort of like a lottery or a casino of some sort. Well, what my point is, is Al from Boston did his job. People know what the DTCC is, and people actually think that they're going to be willing to pay us. Come on. Let, let, let's just talk about the money that's in my pocket. If I had 20 bucks in my pocket and... Uh, my friend, he made a bet with you, but he says, oh, just in case, you know, you can pay me an extra dollar, right? And uh, even if I can't pay, Arthur will pay. All right. And he's going to accept that dollar. I'm going to pay it to him. And then I find out that you, the person that like made the bet in the first place with him had gone and you know shoved a nail inside that horse's foot that you know the other guy was betting on I would scream that's some nefarious action um, that's fraudulent and I'm not paying you correct doesn't that sound familiar doesn't that sound like maybe a time that you might have been driving like an asshole and the insurance company didn't pay you because, like, in fact, you were at fault. So they disputed your own claim. These things happen. And I think that the whole point of, you know, Double Agent Al was to plant the seed that there was some bigger party called the DTCC. I mean, poor Lewis spent so much time just trying to wipe the thought of that right out of your head. He's been wasting so much time. When the fact is, that shouldn't even be a topic of conversation. Yeah, they have some sort of clearinghouse that protects the rest of the market. It doesn't pay off plays. So, for those people that, you know, began to think that, thank Al. He screwed up a little bit of this play for you. You know it, and I know it. Because you had never heard of $100,000 a share before his ass anyway. So, beat it with that shit, Al. You ain't that cool. I doubt that you even went to Harvard. I don't know who Kyle is. That guy sounds like a scram bone. You, you both sound like a bunch of pimply little dorks. So, with that being said, I'm not going to trust you. I don't believe in $100,000 a share. I do believe there's going to be a squeeze. And I believe that's up for you and I to determine how much it's going to be for so as I'm pulling into work, I just avoided a fuck ton of traffic. Thank fucking God. Um, I wanted to leave you on that thought. He had a mission. It was to plant the seed and educate you on what the DTCC isn't and won't be. However, he gave you the false perception that it would be excited to pay you trillions of their dollars. Rewind. How excited they would be to pay you trillions of their dollars. Can we just think about how stupid that sounds? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get raw in this video, but uh, they got pissed me off, man. Later.